Complaints about slow service continue to pour in, and one man says he lost big money because of delays. Absolutely. WGN's investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte has his story, as well as a look at the hundreds of thousands of dollars in settlements the Postal Service is paying up now. Well, you've heard the horror stories. People waiting weeks for packages or mail, never reaching its destination. Tonight, you're going to meet one man who has now filed a lawsuit with the Cook County Pension Board, pointing the finger at the Postal Service for his loss of nearly a million dollars in retirement benefits. These days, Daniel Morisi is busy repairing a life plan he spent decades building. I got the, you know, power tools, I got wiring, I got... Up until May, the 54-year-old worked for the Cook County Sheriff's Department. That job mean a lot to you? It was practically my life for the almost 30 years. A life he wanted to keep enjoying. For years, he did away with sick days and vacation, all so he could retire before he reached 55. It should have been easy. Normally, it's a stop at the local office that processes the pension paperwork. But here's the thing. The pandemic forced the closure of that office. So instead, on May 4th, he drove to the Evergreen Park Post Office to mail off the documents and seal the plan for the rest of his life. At the time, I didn't know there was a problem with the mail because it was early on in, in the pandemic. In fact, he didn't find out there was a problem until much later. In July, the pension payment he was expecting didn't come through. And when he called, this is what he heard. There was a problem. Your money didn't get here from deferred comp until after the 30 days. So I explained, you know, well, what do I do now? They said, well, you're not eligible to buy your eight months of medical time, so you're only eligible for 40% of your pay. For the rest of your life? For the rest of my life. I would have been eligible for this every month. But now that I can't purchase my medical time, I'm only eligible to receive this amount. A simple postal delay, he says, cost him close to $3,000 each month. And listen to this number. If I lived to be 80 years old, I'd, I'd lose right around a million dollars. That's a lot of money over something as simple as a postmark. Later learned paperwork he mailed on May 4th wasn't postmarked until the 9th, and it didn't reach its final destination until May 22nd, way beyond the pension deadline. I need a better stamp. His story of extreme loss over postal delays is one of thousands that have come to light during the pandemic. Yesterday I came up here, no mail in two weeks, and she gave me one piece of mail. Last week, those complaints kept rolling in, and it's not just in Illinois, but across the country, in every state. People losing out on money, goods, or medicine with no idea of what else to do. Data obtained by WGN Investigates shows the Postal Service paid out $1.2 million in Illinois just in 2020 for lost mail. That doesn't include December, when we saw the bulk of the holiday mail issues. So let's do some quick math here. In 2020, up until December, Illinois residents filed 15,861 claims with the Postal Service. The average payout, $76.96. A far cry from the million dollars Daniel Morisi will lose during retirement. And just an utter lack of professionalism from that organization to have those kind of numbers just here in our state. Alderman Matt O'Shea was at one point receiving dozens of calls each day about delays. After the holidays, it did get better. My concern now is that, you know, the pressure's off. We're through the rush season, um, and now I'm starting to see an uptick in complaints. He's pushing for a fix from congressional leaders, but it's slow going, and the Postal Service keeps offering the same line. Quote, as the holiday inventory continues to drop, the Postal Service fully anticipates improvements in performance. Recent snow accumulation in our region has also been a challenge in transporting mail and delivery, end quote. I figured this would be you know, my, my reward at the end. For Maurice, all of it has been tough to deal with. He never questioned the work of the postal system until now. 
It was just a part of life he's learned the hard way to no longer trust. I blame number one to COVID. You know, I, I believe if it, the COVID wasn't here, I could have went downtown and done this all in the office. I could have done my paperwork with the pension board. I, I definitely believe that the, the Postal Service did have a, a hand in it too. And Maurice did not insure the letter, which means he's not eligible for an indemnity claim. Meanwhile, there are efforts right now to pass the U.S. Postal Service Fairness Act. It would lift rules that require the Postal Service to pre-fund retirement benefits by five decades. Many believe the bill would lift some of the financial burdens the postal system is dealing with right now. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.